All right, boys and girls, men and women on YouTube, if you're watching this video, I feel sorry for you. Uh, it's been about five years since I bought my last new laptop, so it's time to buy a new one, and I bought this Dell Latitude 3000 series. And uh, I tried to save a few bucks, so I bought one off of eBay. That was probably a mistake. It was supposed to be new, but it was supposed to not be in the manufacturer's packaging, and I suppose that should have been a big red flag, but uh, I went ahead and bought it to save myself a few bucks. And uh, here the thing is, now my beef with it is not that the power is going off, that's just the regular uh, savings, uh, power savings going on. My beef with it was that when I went to close the lid, it wouldn't shut itself off. And uh, I did a lot of looking, I reinstalled my graphics drivers, I spent days beating my head against a wall trying to figure this out, and I finally went, let's check that reed switch. And I got a magnet and I started tapping around to see where the little magnet was, and I finally found it. And so this is not me just randomly tapping, this is me going to show you what's going on. That's a little tiny ceramic disc magnet on the end of my screwdriver. And let me show you where this little switch is. It's right there. Alright, you saw everything go off? We're going to go ahead and come back across here. We can turn it back on again. Okay, but that's the I go to sleep thing. And uh, I went ahead and pulled the bezel off my off my computer. And there's I'll put a link to the video that showed me how to do it. I'm not going to show you all of that. And I found that on my laptop, Dell, in its wonderful infinite wisdom, missed putting the magnet back behind the uh, bezel where it's supposed to go right about there. So I'll show you where that magnet was supposed to go. And I was able to stick this little magnet in here. I've actually already done it, and I've just got an extra one of these magnets. I was able to stick that little magnet right back in the holder. It's not exactly the right size. Mine's a 1 8 by 1 16 inch ceramic disc magnet, uh, rare earth neobidinium. Um, and it works really, it works okay. I had to wedge it in and then I epoxied it in to make it stay there. I'm guessing that the one that was supposed to be on here was a one millimeter uh, thick by four millimeter diameter magnet, but that's just a guess. I really haven't got any good way of measuring that. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like inside and show you where the holder is. Um, and if you're like me, you weren't, I wasn't able to find that information anywhere specifically for here. So Hopefully this will help you solve your problem if your problem is similar. Um, but before you take anything apart, get yourself a magnet and try tapping right around. It's right off to the, to the left of the power switch, right about there. Uh, that's where the little magnet, uh, little reed sensor is on my Dell Inspiron 15 inch 3000 series. So let's go ahead and flash to the inside. So let me show you this little booger hard to see but if you get right down here you can see the little fella and that little fella is inside the little plastic box that's right there where my screwdriver is almost touching and that's where the little magnet lives uh, I've gone ahead and I've wedged a little disc magnet into that spot that was where the magnet was supposed to be and that's where they forgot it uh, on my model you can see I put a, a 1 8 by 1 16 inch magnet that's like a 3 millimeter by uh, 1 and a half millimeter magnet in there. And it's a little bit the wrong size, but it'll work. And I'm going to put a little epoxy on that to hold that in there, and we should be good. Okay, so just to verify that everything works the way it's supposed to with that magnet in place, you're going to see that as we close the screen, when we get down close, there it is, it shuts off like it's supposed to.